Hey guys, this is Nick. Welcome to my channel, my video babies. I am back. I am back with another hit banger. <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm about to react to, right? X-Men 97 here. It's season, I'm calling it season six. Episode four here. This is a two-part episode rolling into one. Um, I don't know what this is going to be about. This one's called Motendo, and the other one's called Life Death Part One. So, <laughs> I have no idea what that's going to be about. So, I cannot wait to do those episodes with you guys. I don't know why they did that. I think they should have just, episode four is called Motendo, and Life and Death is the, you know, Life and Death uh, Part One is the next episode, and Part Two the next episode. I think they should have done it like that. But, um, last episode we saw Mr. Sinister. Hash a plan. It was so well done. He cloned Jean. Everybody in the X-Men thought Jean was hanging out with them. She got pregnant with Scott and all that stuff. And <laughs> he hatched a plan to take their baby. He was dipping their baby in some goddamn Nickelodeon goo to get his DNA so he could mer merge it with himself. That is crazy. So I guess when he put them into the goo, he gets some, he threw a, a virus inside the baby and so I guess um, the only way to fix the problem is to send him to the future with Bishop so I don't know um, I hope the, I hope he's gonna come back from the future and he's gonna be cable so I don't know what episode this is gonna be about so I cannot wait to watch it with you guys so are you ready you know I'm ready I want you guys to sit back relax get yourself a snack and enjoy yourselves babies while I hit play warning the following contents may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewers' discretion is advised. Oh, Tendo. You haven't found a little extra? Here, take some cream with it. Ah, oh, thanks, Remy. You're sweet. But our new boss <laughs> beat you to the pot. Oh! Oh, come on, that's not... Cappuccino if you just take an <laughs> Is that his girls? Luckily, I am giving them. That's messed up. After breakfast, the X-Men will report to the danger room I'm gonna hop over that table, bro. We must be ready should Mr. Sinister resurface. Surely our youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday. Two thumbs that blast fireworks and turns 18. Oh, years. she's 18? I thought she was like 17, Aww, 16. Happy birthday, sweet pea. Boy, do we got some surprises for you. But first... How do you want to celebrate the big 18th, huh? We are all ears. Okay. Big shocker, I know, but let's go to the arcade. It'll be just like old times. What do we think? Okay. Why you gotta look for... Really, really? The only people who hate video games are bad at video games. But actually, this one isn't mine. Never even heard of a Motendo. What? Said they had some surprises. What the hell? Let's play. Look at the old ass Sega, Sega Genesis. <laughs> and he caught that playing that. Really? That's old? So the, all this in the room is old. What's it doing? Whoa. What in the hell? How long were we playing? I assume I won. Wait. What the hell? They inside the video game, bro. They inside the video game. Being inside Jumanji, y'all. Where'd the mansion go? Oh boy! Ooh. You know, it would be a lot easier if you just used your power. Thank you. There's cameras around. You in a video game, bro? Do they even know they in a video game? Everyone is focused on you. Yes. What? So they don't even know they're in a video game. That's crazy. Wait a second. It could be a trap. A phone booth trap? That'd be creative. Hello? What the heck? I was trapped here with Storm. And bit too. And a bunch of other mutants. What is this? To build by Bolivar That's in the Genosha. Read of the Sentinels. Huh. Damn, now you don't know if you're in a video game, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Come on. Pay attention to the young lady. You're like totally in a video game. Who the hell are you? Totally. So 
Oh my god, I need to watch the whole game. Oh shows. Heaven is that. Mojo here. Your prime time psycho interdimensional alien I'm done. TV producer who feeds off ratings. I'm sorry. Greatest hit? Putting the X-Men through overly complicated death traps to you entertain my slaves. Uh, indentured audiences. Sorry. Looks like you've been dieting. Feel like an old villain, I guess. Oh, yes. I need That's to watch the old show. Shock. Actually, it's been a horrible third quarter, and it shows. Let's be real. For my gamer girl in a gamer world, you connect with the youth. <laughs> You're the point of view. Yo, Picture oh this: God. the future, a Motendo. That's Mo for Mo. Okay, in okay. Every home, on every world in every Why would they keep that console there? <laughs> Zapping up nom 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 energy from the brains of all who play. I'll dominate the galaxies and the 18 to 45 age demographic. And what if we refuse to play your game? What then? None of this is even real. Well, I don't want to say something scary, like if you die in the game, you die in real life, but... <laughs> game on! <laughs> oh, snap. Isn't that the old video game? Wow, this don't tell me. It's loading. <laughs> oh my god. This is like watching the game. Yo, they are geniuses for this. Oh my god. A game within a game. That is crazy. Yo, this perfect. Yo, this episode. Okay. <laughs> you get, get another life. Again. Catch that bug, Spiral! This is what you get when you kill Tech Support for failing to kill the bug! <laughs> really? Now shush! My favorite level. Got simpler times. Now Helmet Head's bossing us around and telling me how to spend my birthday. It's unreal. I uh, should probably find a way out of here. What's the rush? These levels are taking me back. Jews, listen to yourself. None of this is real. Sooner or later, you gotta grow up. Otherwise, reality will smack you right in the face. Ah! Ooh, what the hell's going on? Roberto! I am Magneto. <laughs> Yo, this is so well done. It's like they're playing the whole game. Yeah, this is genius. Roberto's health is almost gone. He's dying. Okay. He's got a pattern of attack. Typical boss battle shenanigans. I just need to wait for it to cycle. Okay, Julie, you're the only one to beat um, Magneto this game. You're the only one. You're the only one. <laughs> nice. Blind him. Look at that, you hear the echo? So just like the game. Game over. É muito perigoso. Vou vazar daqui. I don't speak justifiably <laughs> Portuguese, but I know. I messed up. Big time. Still, this young lady did take down old Magneto. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. What? What's now? Into Mojo's Who are you? She's a plot twist. She's in league with Mojo. This isn't Acosta. <laughs> like I said, what? we go way back. What? Now we need to move. That lobby tyrant <laughs> in here and I'm so lost. Us back into his game of deception. I'm gonna hit pause here for a second. I got a few questions. Explain everything. Thank you. you gotta test a game before launch. Running endless trial loops with you two was too risky, so Mojo needed beta testers. What? Did you know that because of me. <sighs> Jubilee, I know a part of you wants to hang here. It's nice knowing how every stage ends. No surprises, no twists. It always stays the same. But that's not living. Living doesn't get cheat codes or extra lives, but it has friends and family. Love, loss and heapings of hope. Life's a total risk and it's on you. Take it. 
Message. Oh no! What's the oh the final boss? The Mojo's the final boss. Oh, this is so cool! I want to see that. <laughs> Guys, I think he fell off his diet. Fine by me. The bigger they are, the harder they pop. Okay. Do that? Oh, she got some new moves. Okay. Okay, Naruto. Oh, they doing the Rasengan. <laughs> Rasengan. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. This is so cool. Now she's learning. Okay, this is kind of like her training. It's okay, she's training in the game. So, you know, wow. Magneto can't be mad now. Wow, this is awesome. They destroy that. Why would you have kept that there? You could have. Yeah, talk about risk. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Roberto could you use his powers more. What's wrong with you, boy? Storm, dinner is ready. Well, a friend of Charles Xavier is a friend of mine. I owe that fellow a great deal. As do we all. How does it work? A mutant who can invent anything he can conceive. Yeah, I know exactly you what I, I, I know. The brain that are normally dormant in you can make anything. Draw unique connections. See how bits fit. Like a Rubik's Cube on constant autopilot. Or simply a genius. Well, life and love. God help me. But if you're needing a neat toaster or a thing that'll store <laughs> your mutant powers. Or a bowl of this delicious chili. <laughs> yep, we're chili. I was a soldier. And there was a war. I miss soaring. The wind in my hair, so powerful it's hard to breathe, but so fresh is to be worth it. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. What a blessing. Wasn't anything to fix. Just adapted and got a little creative. Hmm. It's cool to have an episode about what Storm is doing. It's pretty cool. <gasps> Is that how he's trying to wake up her powers and make her do some life and death stuff? Beautiful, isn't it? She gonna get her powers back. That owl, I've seen him before circling. Perhaps he is like the winds. The moon affects tides and temperatures, guiding the wind across our planet's surface. The winds here never shift. They always blow east. The real trick to reversing what the executioner did to you wasn't making an inverted version of its radiation. It was creating a machine that could safely channel such power. Ah, you've been listening. The last power differential clicked in my head when we were out riding. Like I said, it helps to get outside. Okay, he built a device already? Ready? You gonna wake up? Oh, okay. Go ahead, trust it. Trust, trust it, Storm. You got. It. I don't know. If it's gonna wake or work. Okay, Aurora. Give it a try. I think it's Please about her. Heed my command. Please. Don't worry. Winds. It's gonna come when you're ready. Hear me. Please. Man, that's so messed up. This isn't happening, Forge. It can't be real. I know, Aurora. I know. After the war, I didn't have the resources to build what I so easily saw in my mind. The Defense Department offered to help me, as long as I helped them build some devices. Hmm. Devices that could be used to neutralize dangerous mutants. What? No. No, no, no. You made these? Oh, no. no. A scientist in Scotland did. Using my early designs, rough strokes at best. I left the government by then. You, of all people, should know the perils of trusting those in Washington. This is not a lie. No, don't you dare. 
I could live forever, and still my endless imagination would never conceive of a thing as perfect as you. A perfect path to your redemption. You are a goddess. Powers be damned. How do you not see uh. that? Aurora, look at me. How long have they been together? <laughs> Man, the connection. You can go where you can stay, but I love you. Really, bro? How I long have you been? Has she been there? <laughs> Instead, you have fashioned a fool. Damn. What in the upside down? This wow. Storm is in the upside down, y'all. What's going on? Aurora! I was just coming upstairs after you. What? How did I return here? What is going on? Yo, what in the... in the heavens? Get out of my home, you damn demon! Yo, what's going on? Is a storm in a dream or something? Is death? No. You live disappointed. Yo. Trapped here, haunted, suffering, despairing. I feast on misery, and I, the adversary, shall not waste my meal. Yo, what's going on here? This is crazy. Oh my god. There you have it, guys. Unbelievable. Motendo. That was well done. Why did the X-Men keep that old... It looked like it was an old console, like a Nintendo console in on, Ju on Jubilee's room. I have not seen the old X-Men shows. It seemed like Mojo is an... Oh, I guess he's a, a original villain in an X-Men. I need to watch these shows. I need to watch to catch up. It seems like they kept the Jumanji video game in the <laughs> in Jubilee's room. I think that in the old show, the rest of the X Men's got trapped in the, um, the game too, and I guess they kept the console there. I don't understand why they did that. I'm not sure if they did, but this this it was well done. They they, they mimic the old X Men video games. I remember playing the X Men video games not too much, but it looks similar to the old X Men game where they press. It feels like. The, 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 you know what I mean? Like it was like one person against another person. They start using pressing one button A or B <laughs> to punch and kick, and it's so crazy. And to see how they die, they didn't die, but they they losing their life. Where's the big turkey leg, huh? Where's the, what's the name? Could have used a turkey leg to get his life back. You know what I'm saying? But that, it was so good. Well done. Well done, guys. Well freaking done. Um, Jubilee get to celebrate her birthday at. In the same way that um, Magneto wanted and what she wanted. She wanted to play video games. Magneto wanted her and the rest of the team to be in the danger room. She's sitting there learning how to use her powers by going inside the game and learning that there's a double of her there who actually advanced. I guess she's been there for so many years. Um, I don't know if she was from the old show that she was actually in the game. I don't know how that works, but she showed Jubilee that she could... Upgrade her powers by the Rasengan and <laughs> using the oh man, Jubilee's gonna she learning, she learning. So Magneto cannot be mad at her when she shows some new skills that she hasn't showed the team yet. So I cannot wait for the episode. Um, next episode to come out, it's gonna be a part two of Life Death because Forge is sitting there. I don't know how long Forge and um, Storm been together. It's for him to confess his love to her. It has to be. Uh, it has to be months. I don't know how long, but if he, if they've been for like a couple of days and they found in love, he must have been really deep in love. He he's lonely. You know what I'm saying? He's lonely, but he's helping her, trying to find her powers. But I feel like she's gonna burst out. It's it's kind of like watching. Um, L Eleven from Stranger Things when she lost her powers, um, it's gonna it's gonna have to happen. It's it's gonna happen emotionally, you know what I mean? It's has to. It's the only way to fix her problem is her. She needs to do it instead of Forge. I think Forge is gonna slowly help her, trying to know who she really is, and it's gonna come out because it seems to me they stuck in the upside down world. Got the big giant crow out there, so I feel like she's gonna have to save 
uh, her and Forge by waking up her powers and she gonna feel she gonna kill that crow thing, whatever that is. I don't have no idea. So it was so perfect to end like that to be a part two of next week. So I cannot wait to watch that with you guys. So I just want to say thank you all for joining me in this video. I want you guys to write in the comment section down below what you guys think of my reaction and this video. Hit the thumbs up. Show you boys some love. Show me some love, right guys? Till next time. See when I see you. Deuces.